Good morning, my name is Sabrina Dore. I'm a teacher at the Universidad Alberto Hurtado. Um, I have prepared for you a lesson which is with the book called Green Eggs and Ham, which is written by the famous Dr. Seuss. This lesson is most appropriate for young learners, um, beginning level English students, probably between the ages of seven and nine. Now the lesson is divided into three parts. There's a pre, a while, and a post. And for the pre, we're going to review some vocabulary that the students will see in the story. Now to begin with, we're going to put these words into two columns. The first column will be colors, and the second column, food. Now at this point, I would have the words distributed among the classroom and I would invite the students to come forward and put the word in the corresponding category. But we're going to do some words now as an example. So the first word is tomatoes and we know this goes in the category of food. Um, here we have another word, the word white and students will know this is a color. Um, continuing we have the word green which is a color, so it goes here. Um, again, the students would be doing this um, simultaneously to make the exercise go quicker. Um, we have the word lemon. Lemon can go under the category food. And the word brown, we know it's a color. How about the word apple? Apple is a food. And an egg, okay, we can say this is a food, an egg you use to make pancakes. Chicken, chicken is a food, so it's going to go here. And how about some more colors? The color red. And the color blue. And let's see, any other? How about strawberry? Strawberry is a food. Okay, so I have more words, but this is to give, give you the general idea. Uh, I guess we can put the last two, or the last few up. There's not too many left. Carrot, maybe I should go up to the top, bread, and so on. Okay, so now I can ask you, when we think of food, what color are apples most usually? Here we have on the screen an apple, and we would probably say it's a what color? A green apple. Okay, how about the next one? What is this? I have the word here, I can put it on the board. We have milk. Milk is what color? Milk is white, so let's put an arrow this way so students can see. And we have a tomato. A tomato is what color? It's red, so we're gonna say a red tomato. And the next one, an egg. This is an egg, here's the word, an egg. Now this is actually two colors, right? It's white and yellow. Okay, so here's my color that was missing. And let's put them both with egg. Here's egg, so we have a white and a yellow egg. Moving right along, ham. You could say this is maybe pink or brown, depending on how you see it. Here we have a carrot. Do we have the word carrot here? We do. And the color, whoops, it didn't make it up. Here's our color. Hope you can see that. And here's our orange carrot. 
lemons, we know lemons are yellow. So we can put yellow with lemon. And bread, right? Bread is usually brown. Now, if you look here, we have all the fruits or the food we just spoke about. We have an orange carrot. We have some brown bread, some yellow and white eggs. Eggs are usually yellow and white. Do you see anything unusual? Anything that's not normal? Probably this looks funny, right? Here we have yellow lemons, a red tomato, but a blue strawberry, that's not very common. Do you like blue strawberries or would you like blue strawberries? Hmm, probably you'd have to think about it. Do they taste normal? I don't know, do I? Good question. Now, if you look here, you've got a friend here who doesn't look too happy. How does he feel? He feels nervous, he feels scared. He's thinking, mm, I don't know if I want to eat this. And what is it he doesn't want to eat? Eggs, right? And the ham, which is here. <laughs> Here's our, oh, ah, yeah. <laughs> lemon's gonna stay there. We'll put ham, can you see if I put it down here? Okay, ham, okay. So we said eggs are usually yellow and white and here we have some green eggs and some green ham, okay? So we're going to see if our friend wants to eat green eggs and ham. Okay, um, this is the second part. This would be the wild part of the activity. And here we have um, the actual story. I just scanned it and, and projected the pictures. Now probably I would give this book to some students in the back who maybe need to use their hands more to stay focused. That way they could turn the pages. Um, but I'm gonna read it from the screen. Okay, so it starts out, he says, I am Sam, I am Sam, Sam I am. So this is Sam I am. His name is Sam I am. And he says, that's Sam I am, That Sam I am, I do not like that Sam I am. Sam I am says, do you like green eggs and ham. You can see his face, no. He says, I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. So he asks, would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. But would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? Here's my mouse, in case the, pic the picture's very small, so I have a mouse. And he says, I do not like them in a house, and I do not like them with a class, mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am but would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a class, house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green, class, eggs, and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Would you, could you, in a car, eat them, eat them, here they are. I would not, could not, in a car. You may like them, you will see, you may like them in a tree. Here's our tree. What's this? This is our car. What is this? Our mouse and the fox. You may like them, you will see, you may like them in a tree. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a box. I do not like them in a house, and I do not like them with